there's one more uh, topic that we have not covered yet, which is actually validating, connecting, and downloading the project to the panel view. So I wanted to run through the procedure. There is no download button or anything like that. You must go to device, hover over the download, and then this is where you can download the screen saver, like I said, and they've added, you could download fonts if you need to, or if you added or changed fonts, um, from the default library and then this you can also download your application What will happen is what it will do is it runs this and it will compile to make sure that your project is validated So now it says that my multi-state indicator does not have a read tag defined. So During my uh, setup. I messed up now. It's not a error because the application will still run so the application is valid, but one of my animations is not going to work. So it gives me this warning uh, when it does this validate. What it's going to do is if the current panel view has an application already loaded, it will ask you, would you like to stop the existing one from running in order for you to download over? And again, so I kind of showed this, but once you say, yes, I want to stop it, it will say application is now uh, successfully downloaded. Would you like to unload the current one and start the new one that you just added in? And you will select yes, because it will keep multiple revisions. And I'll show that on the next slide here in a second. It also has your validation here. And then the first time you ever set this up, you are also gonna to have to set up your connection path on how to do it. So we set up the connection path as far as the IP address for the uh, PLC, in the configuration, but there is no configuration for the shortcut to download to the controller. You just need to browse uh, very similar to the machine edition transfer utility. The last thing I did wanna show you here is to, if you wanted to upload. So you have two different ways of uploading. You can do discover, which is uh, typically the easiest way of doing it. Um, but for a terminal, you don't always have to do that. You, as long as you understand which hardware you're going to, you can navigate, create a new project, give it a name, and then select upload. When you do that, it will browse and I connect it to just my current controller. So I have the PV800 application one, which is the one we created today, but I had two other applications already in there. It will show you which applications are on there. You can select it, click okay, and then it will say, upload will overwrite the current project contents. So it'll take whatever the contents are of this project and make them into your existing project. So again, when you're downloading, it'll say, you know, this application already exists, or there's a different one running, which you see a status here, and you are going to stop that one, load your new one, then would you like to start your newest project? Uh, so I just wanted to highlight quickly here how to download and upload.